guys welcome back today we're going to be doing a challenge and for that challenge we're going to be using big markers uh, which most of you may know that they're uh, in the range of cheap uh, and you can find them anywhere uh, here we have, have um, they are called big intense uh, markers and I received those as a Christmas gift uh, last year um, 2019 at work um, and I really like them actually I like them to sketch really quick things or to get an idea of what I'm going to paint after um, so they're really good for that um, and I thought that maybe I can show you guys how to use them to create a landscape I hope it comes out okay <laughs> um, I'm not very certain um, of how it's going to come out because I have using a small uh, cup nails and sketches before not as big as this one um, but I'm confident that it's not going to look as bad so I want to prove that even with cheap alternative or cheap um, um, art products you can create something artistic that you can use um, it's not recommended but um, it's something that definitely um, you can start with and then uh, save for uh, more expensive um, materials and you know uh, the good thing about the cheap materials is that you can learn a lot from them and you can cause a lot of mistakes and you're not going to regret uh, using uh, all um, the whole market or something so simple as to merge two markers or anything like that so you're not going to be so worried about oh my god I spent for uh, $20 in a marker and I'm just going to destroy it by doing this okay so I think it's good to experience and for artists that are starting um, to work with markers or anyone that's bored and want to create something different and try alternatives to the norm um, and for this episode specifically I'm going to be painting uh, seascape uh, <laughs> I love seascapes as you may uh, know by now and actually I was supposed to do a big oil painting for this week I was going to do a 20 by 24 beach painting um, recommended by one of my subscribers but unfortunately some life events happen there and I then have the ability to actually sit down and paint I will leave down below comments about the whole situation but um, yeah definitely um, this was one of the fastest um, way so I was thinking maybe I just have to do a simple sketch and see how it looks um, and then that's how I came out with this video so I hope you guys enjoy um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you enjoy the video and as normal I will be back at the end with more comments thank you
I'm back, guys. I hope you haven't missed me too much. <laughs> so I'm back here, and uh, as you can see in the video, we're adding the final details uh, to do um, to this wave. Um, I'm sorry. I think part of the video got cut at some point, so the sand um, process didn't get recorded as well. Um, and I didn't want to start again the video. So my apologies for that, um, but I think it came out good. It's coming out good. Um, the gradation looks okay. I think it could, uh, I could have worked a little more um, into those water gradations. Um, but again, those markers um, dry super fast, so it's super impossible blend them with the other one when they are in large scale so I will keep using them as sketches <laughs> uh, markers just because I think that they work better that way um, I'm kind of erasing with a white marker uh, some red tones that I added by mistake in the sand um, that I didn't like and I think the white ones um, with that red mix of nice uh, highlights um, so yeah let me know what you think about it and I see you guys next week um, I hope you enjoy please subscribe like comment and share with everyone that you think that will like and once again see you next week guys <laughs>